I am pleased to tell you that I consider you to be powerful. It is not because you have taken this course of study. You were already empowered. You were empowered as the owner of yourself, your economy, your government, your nation, and even humanity. That has not changed. What has changed is how this ownership is perceived. It just started with a different way to understand our history, looking at what we accomplished that could be valued, rather than what people did. It provided a base to see our world in a different light, a vision that replaced many of the challenges people now have with opportunities. While there were a few working tools and understandings, most of the effect was having new options for your actions. Options based on accomplishing things that people value. Of greater importance, it was a vision of how each of us fits into humanity, both being its operating unit and sharing in both its ownership and customer base. You were brought to see ever more clearly how it really is all about you. This is empowerment, the empowerment of you as a decision maker who determines what it is to be accomplished and the one who can decide on actions to pursue and also the one who will receive the result of what you have valued. This is empowerment, the empowerment of you being a part of humanity and so like others that you can choose to join in efforts that others set in place or initiate new efforts, or even take charge through enlisting others to join you in your efforts. This is empowerment, learning to focus on results that have value to us as humans, because that is what will have value to all people. That is where you can find common purpose with others. This is empowerment, that you have learned to identify waste with the intent to minimize or eliminate it. This is empowerment, that you have learned to value yourself as the source of your own life energies so that you are the one who directs your time and effort toward best assuring what you value. This is empowerment, that you look for the investment of your time and energies into efforts that are most likely to accomplish what you value. You have been presented with opportunities to invest in yourself seeking to become more effective as a person. You have been presented with opportunities to invest in being an effective citizen. You have been presented with opportunities to invest in humanity itself. And I say this is empowerment indeed. It is time for our efforts here to wind down. The experiences, knowledge, and perspectives are already yours. If there is a challenge, it is that very personal one of deciding what to do with what you have gained. Will you pick up some early direction to pursue or just react, looking for the best opportunities that come to you as you continue? There is no best answer to such a question. The empowerment is having the choice and in knowing that the choice is yours. We have a term for people who visit a place and then move on. Their time of stay is a sojourn. When it comes to the studies such as this, you are the sojourners. Those who come into this class who experience what it is able to provide to you and are then expected to move on. But when you go, you carry with you all that it took in while you were here. You take in your memories with you, the lessons as you receive them, and all the knowledge that you have learned about human performance and much of what you carry away is shared with others who have also been sojourners in this educational experience. It is a common experience, especially with the recorded lessons, as you know, it is shared with others. There is a new basis for trusting each other, for teaming with those who have shared this. You can trust them to see to some of the challenges and values you seek, and they can trust you with their visions and perspectives. You have become an extended family in that very limited sense. You will, as siblings in a family, give each other the support you would expect them to give to you. And that too is empowerment. You can look to your own empowerment, your own human self, to see that pattern of needs and wants that are shared with all others. They are value, 
in personal freedom, prosperity, and shared trust relations. What you are able to offer to them, with these in mind, they too will value. Perhaps others will not have the clarity that you have worked to gain in this experience, but your stability and vision can be of great value to others. You can find togetherness in humanity. You can find comfort in this, even as you recognize that there will be costs demanded. You will know enough to seek the trust of others when you have something to accomplish. When you leave this class, you will step back among those who have learned that they are divided against themselves and in need of parts of themselves mastering over the rest. You will be among those who firmly believe that the way to get ahead in the world is to take things from you, to master you, to be able to declare themselves as the winner. You will disappoint such people and cause confusion when you exercise that power of humanity that comes through unity. You will challenge their sense of what is right when you are trustworthy because you have invested in what you do. You will be a puzzle that cannot be resolved because you have learned to get things done without being the authority over others. Our lesson is that this will be denied and rejected by those who have labored so hard on their lives to come to privilege. So how important is that? Only that you can answer such questions and answer is personal with each of us. The key is that you can trust such people to be true to themselves. What they do may be wasteful, but even the privileged are consistent in what they do. Your own family will share in your joy as you seize upon the power that is ours as humans. The very purpose of this course is to empower you, and it is a family purpose as well. Your teachers will share the joy as you grasp the reins of your own humanity as an effective person who has things to accomplish by your commitments. I urge you to look closely at what you have learned in the family, both the positive and the negative. This is where we have learned the potency of unity. If it is not learned in your childhood family, it was certainly demonstrated in the family of others around you. This is that human source for deeper lessons of empowerment. It is lessons in how we come together to get things done for each other. If your parents drew the family together, then they are the source of your own deeper understanding of togetherness. If they were distracted, damaging to each other in the family unity, that is the same lesson in the negative, for you are most intimately aware of the cost. What this study adds is that wonderful consciousness that lets you see these things and learn from them and invest your knowledge of family to accomplish what family purpose and provide the lessons to future generations. It is consciousness, it is being awake and aware of the consistency that we find in all people. It is that ultimate resistance to change which is part of who we are as humans. You cannot trust people to change, not even for wonderful benefits. You can trust people to invest in what they expect to be true, and that is not always reality. You can trust people to value freedom, the choices and options they have, and trust that they will make such choices as they have learned to value. You can trust people to value their own prosperity, even if they would seek it at the expense of others. You can trust people to value the ability to trust others. By what you have experienced in this course, you are probably much easier to trust, for your eyes are open to addressing cost and benefit from your actions, and you have foundation for consistency in what you seek through your efforts. And you are not alone in this. There are other sojourners who have come to this experience, and they too will gain in their focus and consistency. They also step into their own power as humans, for that is the purpose of the study of performance. This is lessons in how to get things done, and that is itself a lesson in our human ability to come together in what we do. Human performance is built in trust in our humanity even in how consistently we resist those changes that benefit everyone. 
still the investment is right, the costs acceptable, and the certainty of people joining in to bring a change to reality. You will be able to trust others to help make it happen. This is family. This is people who come together to be a unit through doing what is beneficial to people who are at that extended family. When it comes to privilege, the lesson is that trust is earned. When it comes to performance, the trust is deserved. You are trustworthy in your personal investments. You will be trustworthy in future dealings, not because you are the right person, but because that is an investment that is effective for getting things done. Bruce Wayne had to change clothes to become Batman. That is the myth of those who are able to do wonderful things in our mythology. Superman was born on another planet. There is always something that our imagined heroes had to do or be before they became wonderfully effective. That is not going on here. I am not imbuing you with new powers and showing you how you too can be greater than everyone else. This course is more like showing you that the chains upon your wrists and that the prison walls that contain you are made of paper mache. It is that freedom is a choice. But then the real power is not in becoming better, stronger, and faster than others. It is enlisting others to also choose their own freedom and to work with you to take charge of what belongs to us together. How much can you trust others? How much can you trust me as a presenter? You can trust each of us to continue to be who we are. We will change only where the benefits of change are expected to be greater than what it will cost us. And in this, we still do not really change. We just become more of who we are. We become effective through accepting how effective we can be as the owner, customer, and operator of ourselves Accepting personal potency is a choice. It is through sharing with others in the ownership of our society, our nation, our government, our legal system, joining in efforts to assume that ownership is a choice. It is an opportunity that is for each of us to pursue as we will. You have just paid the price for gaining this vision, and it was the time and energies you put into receiving what this study has to offer. What you have received is some enhanced vision as to the opportunities that are before you and the investments you can reasonably make to achieve the results you value. You are the sojourner in this arrangement. You have just come into the study for a time. You spend your efforts once. Perhaps you review some piece of it in the future when the need becomes apparent. But you take what you learn here. Carry it with you as enhanced opportunities. To me, that seems a pretty good bargain, a good investment. But you are the one who receives, and you are the only one who can really value what you take away from here. In full accord with the performance lessons provided in this study, only you can effectively evaluate what you have received in your sojourn through this experience. The questions are a little different than in knowledge-based education. I initially noted that your entering into this study was an investment a cost incurred based on an expectation of the value you might receive. In full accord with the materials and knowledge you have received, the question is one of whether your expectations have been missed, met, or exceeded. That is a general valuation of the course as a whole. This has been presented in the general format of modern educational efforts. Are you able to address what you received in terms of personal enhancement, do you expect to gain and grow into a more effective adult from what you have gained here? Is this somehow able to impact on how your continuing studies in other areas will be of value? Does it provide you some value in terms of better understanding the educational benefits that can come available to you? And then there is the evaluation for you as a person. What about your personal potency, your ability to accomplish what you value? Has your ability to accomplish what you value has it increased? 
Has your sojourn in the study served you there? And even more to the point of this evaluation, has there been any results in the short term that you have had to test some of the materials in your own environment? New choices that have come open to you. It will take time to do some of the evaluation, especially as it is to your ability to empower others, helping them to be more effective in what they do. To this point, and in the presence of others who are sojourning with you, I have endeavored to bring you to some level of testing. Have you been able to test out your ability to empower others? What would you say to others who are considering their own investment? Will encouraging others to sojourn in this study be of value to you? Is there Perigo-level consensus?